In this example, we're going to solve percent equations of the type unknown percent of A is B. And we're going to set up percent equations using the replacements for certain words, percent, multiplication, is, etc. So let's see how that works with these problems. What percent of 140 is 3.8? Well, it's going to be very small because 3.8 out of 140 is going to be a very small number. So let's see how to set that up. What I can replace by x. And I just need to remember that my final result is going to be a percent. Times 140, so of is replaced by times. 140 is my number, equals 3.8. In order to get x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 140, and that leaves me with x on the left. On the right-hand side, I have 3.8 divided by 140, which is 0 0.027. And I need to remember, because I'm looking for the percent, to write that as a percent. So I'm going to multiply by 100 and include my percent. That would be 2.7%. Let's check. So I'm going to check by taking 0 0.027 times 140, and that should equal 3.8. And in fact, it does. So there is our check. Part B, what percent of 620 is 136.4? So x times 620 equals 136.4. Divide both sides by 620, so I'm going to eliminate the step where I write that on the left. I'm just going to show 136.4 divided by 620, and that's going to give me 0.22, which as a percent is 22%. I'm going to do a check. So I'm going to take 0.22, or 22% of 620, and that should equal 136.4. And if you perform that computation on your calculator, you will and get indeed get 136.4. Part C, what percent, so x of 25, so x times 25 equals 0.05. And again, I'm going to skip the step where I divide both sides by 25. I'm going to show that computation on the right-hand side. 0.05 divided by 25 equals 0 0.002, which as a percent is 0.2%. And I'm going to do a check. I'm going to take 0 0.002 times 25, and that should equal 0.05, and in fact it does. So the last one, 240, is what percent of 100? This one's going to end up being a little bit obvious when you see it. So 240 equals x times 100. If I divide both sides by 100, I get 240 over 100 equals x. So 2.4 equals x. If I write that as a percent, that's 240%. So, well, that kind of makes sense because it's 240 is what percent of 100? Well, it's 240%. So let's do our check just for grins here. So we're going to take 2.4, which is our result, times 100, and we should get 240, which indeed we do.